Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for December 2023. You will see the current energies. How does this person feel for you? What is going to happen next? Upcoming events, health, career guidance in a nutshell. Please know that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. For accurate personal readings, white prayer spells and premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. All the details are given down below in the description box. Check out my Instagram for all the updates, feedbacks. Crystal Reels and much more at iNigma.in and check out the Scorpio read for today for January 1 to 7. I'll provide you the link for the same in the description box. See Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, signs, Mercury, Signs and Scorpio plus Cross Watchers. What is the message for you? You are being chased by someone while you're focusing on your work, while you're minding your own business. There's someone that is chasing you and getting very, very attracted towards you. There's someone that is feeling uh, fire, uh, okay, in their body. When they think about you, when they talk about you, or when there's anyone mentioning you, or when they see you. They see you as someone that is extremely down to earth, humble, kind, and definitely uh, well off or... They see you as someone that is stable financially. So that's how this person sees you, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And I'm seeing you're very much ready to pursue someone with whom you can think of commitment. So you will also have a lot more offers coming towards you where you seem to be extremely exciting and attractive personality to date. You're extremely focused over your work and you want to excel. I feel like the Hierophant, there's someone that is already talking about you and them getting married. I feel you know who this person is. You already know and there's a, this, some sort of a discussion going on, debate going on, or someone you guys are trying to convince. I'm seeing most of you are already with someone with whom there's a talk of marriage going on. And for some of you, there is someone that has definitely made up their mind that you're the person that they want to marry. And there could be a Taurus that's coming in or a Leo. Your life is going to change. I'm not seeing things are going to stay stagnant anymore. I'm also seeing a solid foundation being laid at work. If you're seeking a job, a job permanency or a raise or a hike, there is going to be on a massive level. Okay, because you worked hard for it, because you strive for it, you thrive, thrive for it, you were passionate, you're going to get what you deserve. The Knight of Swords. And the Seven of Sword. What is this energy about? Page of Wands and the Seven of Wands. There's someone that is trying to put you down. I feel this is a younger energy that's like um, watching you, observing you and does not want you to grow. There is this, you're in a limelight right now. You're growing, you're succeeding. You're uh, fighting your own fears and becoming much better than before. But there is someone younger. I feel this person is attracted towards you. But there is someone like less experienced or less successful that's trying to put you down. That's trying to destroy your uh, plan. Okay. And come between you and your goals. So be very careful. This person, it, I'm giving you a hint. They are going to be very on and off with you. Okay. They will be at one day, they'll be very nice. Another day, they'll be extremely negative. So you will have an idea over who I am talking to you about. So be careful about someone like that, that shows interest and then suddenly uh, it pains away. Yes, I feel like uh, you're coming to an end with this person because right now you don't care about this person or you won't bother because soon this person won't get to see you. Either they are leaving you or you're leaving them. So for some reason, I feel like you guys are connected, but now they won't be able to see you on a regular basis. So there's some sort of a separation that's coming in. That's going to bring you back in life. And I feel like you're more, you know, uh, free. Nobody's energetically blocking your path. And you have become extremely enthusiastic, passionate. That's something exciting, something new is coming in. You're ready to take over. Um, yeah, whatever was built on a shaky foundation is soon going to end because you're going to start a whole new chapter in your life, Scorpio. Okay, 
So I get going to get ready uh, for diving into something new, something unknown, something exciting. I'm also seeing some of you relocating, shifting or a new place or work, which is going to give you a sense of uh, excitement. But you will achieve something. I'm also seeing there's an achievement coming in. Major achievement. You feel proud of yourself. Some of you, there is also, if you're on in public eye, I'm seeing there's more popularity coming towards you. Because of your work, nobody is able to block your path, challenge you, stop you, because you remain unaffected. And there's no one that's stopping you from going to the next stage in your life, next level. So you're going to beat your competition with ease. I'm not seeing that kind of blockage coming into your life. Be very careful about who you pay. I'm seeing there's something about you overtly spending without even thinking. Are you spending too much? You have to be really careful about who you are paying your money to. Because there's some people that might not give you the results that you're expecting. You're spending too much of money. The Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Souls, you have to be very careful with spending on yourself, spending on others or spending on your work. Whatever it is, it's time for you to save. This is what I'm getting. So you might be too much of a spendthrift, okay, which you have to control, which you have to start controlling. Let's see. I feel like you're majorly focused over your work, your career right now. You're majorly focused on that. And when your focus is somewhere, manifestation will take place. Universe will conspire. And universe is conspiring you to give you that achievement, to, to give you that image, to give you that kind of reputation that you're working on for. Two of Pentacles, I'm definitely seeing there's going to be a lot of money management required because you might be spending way too much or you may have different things that you're spending on or you're not able to save. Like money is coming. As soon as it's coming, it's just flowing away. It's just going away, washed away. So you have to be very careful with who and where you're spending your money. Try to bring about that balance in your life. I feel like when you're focusing on your uh, work life, you will still have this feeling deep inside wanting to connect with someone, okay? Wanting to have your soulmate. You would be so happy if you had a life where you're working and at the same time you have someone to support you emotionally. So you crave that. So you will think about it. You don't have to worry about it because I'm seeing very soon there is a person around that is going to turn into your soulmate. As I was telling you here. So I feel like first you need to up your money game. Once you're upping that, once you uh, see that you have, it's not always about money. I'm also seeing that your career success, career growth and sense of achievement. Once it's achieved, your person is going to come towards you. It's going to talk about you to their family. I'm seeing you might be coming across certain options that are just not right for you. And you're like, whoa, now I'm getting frustrated because I think I should give up because there's no one that is meeting on the same page as I am. And suddenly you have someone coming in. Okay. That is talking about marriage. That is talking about living life together. And suddenly there's a huge smile on your face. You can see there's some shift. This could be a Gemini coming in. Someone very successful and rich. Ooh, wow, this person is way more successful than you, I feel. Overall, I shall tell you that the masculine is more su successful. Eight of Cups. It's time for you to walk away from the past. Some of you, I don't know why I'm still getting this. Some of you really need to stop thinking about the past, trying to come back. Okay, even if they try to come back, they're not the person for you. You have to walk away totally. Because this new person that's coming into your life demands full attention. Yes, you have to make efforts. You have to learn to let go and start afresh. Altogether, there's a whole new chapter in your life that's opening in front of you. And you have to make efforts that, yes, there is someone. I'm hopeful. I know this is going to happen. Write down in the comment section. I'm hopeful. I believe in myself. 
I will get what I want. I will be a great achiever. I'm an achiever. I'm rich. I'm successful. I'm abundant. Okay, I'm making efforts. That is what is important. It's time for you to let go. Something that you're still stuck on. What is that? I don't know what that is, but I feel like you still keep going back into the past. Some sort of a thought, a person that keeps reminding you to go back. And that is your blockage. Some of you are in 40s, 45, 47. Scorpio, it's time to understand that whatever is in the past is completely over. It's shut down. It's finished. Right now, you have to focus on moving straight, moving north. And focus on your work. That's very important. Patience is the key. You might not get the results right off the bat. I may be telling you that, hey, this is coming, this is coming. Just keep your energy up. Just keep faith and stay hopeful. But patience is the key over here. Some of you might receive the proposal right now. Some of you have received it already. Some of you will take a little bit of time. Everybody have their own divine timing. But this is coming. Have some patience. This is important. So... Universe wants you to first focus on your, uh, you know, upgradation. After then, you will have someone immediately coming towards you. It's going to sweep you off. Very, very successful. I'm seeing your married life is going to be super fun and exciting because this is your soulmate. They give you everything that you're looking for. 100 on 100, okay? There's this lot of love. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of desire. There's like, you guys are very much alike like you guys understand each other and i feel like there's someone already thinking about you this person either is coming into your life or you just met but this is someone that's going to be obsessively thinking about you each and everything your skin your 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 talks your work your um, face your eyes your lips or whatever it is about you they keep thinking about you oh wow reconciliation someone is trying to come back but be careful i would still suggest you to be careful okay there's a possibility that someone is not feeling good without you and wants another chance in love now scorpio there could be 50 percent of you that really want reconciliation there could be 50 of you 50 percent of you that really do not want to deal with this so if you don't want it you will say no but if you want to give it a second chance you might say yes so either ways i'm saying I'm seeing that the past is trying to come back for another shot. Okay? They're not doing well without you since the day you walked away. But what I'm sensing right now, you have completely changed, Scorpio. And you're not ready to go backwards. You're not ready to read the book or read the chapters backwards. So all those who think that there is a good, fair chance, then it could be for a very few number. Okay? But yes, either ways, I'm seeing for each and every one, there's a past person trying to come back. It's up to you. You want to go back or you want new. I want new. What about you? Everyone is doing their best. I feel like the past, including the new, is trying to impress you by doing their best. And right now, you may not know why all of these things are happening. But soon, you will get answers to all your questions. So have some patience. But it is as if the karma is in your favor and it's giving you everything that you deserve. The number six is extremely essential for you, which means that it's the time for you to embrace the luxuries. Write down the comment section. I have, I'm built in luxuries. Write down the comment section. I'm built in luxuries. Do whatever you want to do with yourself, man. Okay, the school. Some of you, this person is a teacher, professor, or you are. This is uh, the sign that it's life. It's your life purpose or it also means that it's time for you to go through this lesson, which is an important phase of your life that's going to turn your life around. Later on, you will realize why I was learning this lesson. I'm grateful right now. Okay, I'm grateful. The doubt. Stop doubting. Whatever experience you are having, okay, stop doubting this just give uh, a credit just be thankful that it happened because something or the other that is happening in your life is helping you open your eyes and be able to not make the same mistake again so somewhere i feel universe is teaching you a major lesson which is going to keep you safe for the life so be ex uh, thankful for it Yes, universe is giving you a lesson to learn to love and respect your own time.
time loneliness this is important because in this stage you will learn a lot about yourself from there onwards you'll never feel alone okay so seek within yeah your third eye is opening guys you're becoming more intuitive and you will be able to make the right decision right choices for your life for yourself the number six as i was telling you the number six is extremely essential for you it means that it's time for you to bathe in luxuries it's time for you to follow your intuition it's time for you to be positive about what is coming and be thankful for every experience you're having right down the comment section i'm thankful for each and every experience and i'm ready to bathe myself in luxuries this is happening wear more purple or you can wear a nail paint that's purple color anything that's purple okay what else what else there you go the initiation it's time for you to take the first step i feel it's it's already in your mind what you want to do what is your next step is going to be it might be risky but it's time that you come out of this cave that you're putting yourself in and then suddenly you will see the storm coming into your life that's going to change your whole life and you're going to live a different role and then in your future i'm seeing you're rising you're upgrading yourself it is unseen but you have to trust that it will happen see give thanks to the blessings that universe is showering you with if you're thankful okay to the nature the nature will give you more okay and there's nothing that can stop you or object you from doing what you want to do in life deep emotional healing i feel like when you go within when you seek yourself in hermit mode when you become that hermit where you realize your own potential you're becoming spiritually awakened you are going to be emotionally healed from within and this healing is must for you scorpio in order for you to be more complete and satisfied in life write down the comment section i'm awakened soul i'm complete and satisfied in life i'm happy from within okay write that down and feel it I feel there's someone that feels deeply rejected by you. Now that they can see your worth, this person is trying to come back, but they know that they will be heavily rejected. <laughs> I want to laugh at this person. I feel like this is someone from seven months back. Something to do with the number seven. Either that their birthday month is seven, or their birth date is seven, or they are born on nineteen seventy something. Okay, or they could be twenty seven. 37 47 like that okay uh but this is someone that could have been extremely moody at the time when you were there but when you left now they can see your true worth. they want to leave whatever they're having to focus on you because you are that one in complete fa person you, you're a complete person they don't have to see different people you have it all now they can see your words so this person is also reaching out for a date and you're going to say no. Now it all depends upon you, Scorpio. How do you want to take it? They could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, specifically Pisces. Right? So there's a hell lot, hell lot of confusion. Should I reach out to them? Should I not reach out to them? There's a fear. They don't know how you are going to react to this. This is what is going on. Let's see the signs coming through. So we have Pisces, we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, and we have Libra. Okay, so these are the signs most probably coming in, and I'm going to be ending this with some charms. Someone is a CEO. Okay, and you work late night or your person is someone that stays up late working. Someone is an entrepreneur. Okay. This person has letters C-E-O-R-I-E-I -E -I again. Someone is watching you very closely, eye to eye. I feel like this person wants an eye to eye connection. 
they are seeking that they are dying for it they have become codependent on you now they're feeling sorry now they want to be with you they keep thinking about you this person has found the clarity about you now they know who you are they can see you as someone that is very very natural they like that and this person cannot stop thinking about you they're thinking a lot about you not sleeping someone's name is rocky Rachel, Caroline, Cynthia. Some of you, you were in school with this person, you were studying together. Someone owns a company here. Someone is very rich, I'm seeing RIC. Richard, Ricky. Celine, Camille, Eric. So these are certain names that I'm getting. Rest of the names, please write down in the comment section. Tell me what, you, what is your name. I'll take your name the next time. I'm also seeing coin. So it's like everything turned around. Like it was your head. It was your tails and now it's your heads and everything is... Uh, happening now the kind of situation you wanted at one point of time inia aerobics i'm also hearing fitness aerobics exercise order someone is a lawyer someone is a director okay hr owner of something i'm seeing the color red Someone's name is Ray. Someone's from Canada. Someone's from India, England, Russia, Romania. I'm seeing someone is deeply romantic about you. Someone's from California, Cincinnati, Egypt, Ecuador, Ethiopia. These are certain countries that I'm getting. Rest of the messages you can find yourself from these letters. And I'll see you back again with more stuff. Bye. And do like, share, comment and subscribe to iNigma and iNigma Scorpio.